Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here with a review of the Hontai Toys HT F803, or correction, F802D. Um, this, as you can see, appears to be just another uh, clone of the Latrax alias, but there's something different about it. Um, it has a camera, okay, that's not remarkable, but this camera has an FPV transmitter. Um, it transmits via Wi-Fi to your cell phone. Um, you can use an Android or Apple cell phone with this quadcopter. And by doing such, that reduces the cost of this uh, quadcopter for FPV. You're supplying your own screen. Um, the cost of this is around $70. It's one of the lower cost FPV quadcopters currently available. So this should open up FPV a lot to beginner quadcopter flyers. Another feature of this quadcopter, it has extreme range. Uh, extreme, what I'm talking about for a toy quadcopter, it goes out to about 150 meters and maintains contact with the transmitter. Um, the reception from the transmitter on the uh, camera via Wi-Fi goes, it's advertised out to 120 meters. Um, I have been seeing uh, in initial flights here with it um, close to 100 meters. Uh, what happens though when you get out to further ranges, you start to get breakup, uh, uh, intermittent transmission from the quadcopter. So if you're out that far, you might want to keep an eye, also keep an eye on the quadcopter. Um, other features of the quadcopter, it has a headless mode. Um, the headless mode isn't really spectacular. Um, you can't use it for return to home feature because it's one of the headless modes where you set it in flight and it remembers the uh, heading it was on when you set the headless mode. Um, and headless mode, again, is for those of you unfamiliar, uh, the yaw of the quadcopter is unimportant to the direction of the quadcopter. The control of the direction of the quadcopter when in headless mode is all through the pitch roll stick. So if you push forward, it goes forward down some base heading that you set. You push back, it comes back down the base heading and right and left. The advantages of this is it, it's helpful for night flying for maintaining orientation if you keep it on all the time during the night flying. And it also is helpful for panning if you're doing aerial video of panning of ground subjects on the ground doing flybys. And finally, um, it can do pirouettes in the sky, which is really hard to do manually. But let's go into a flight of this. I'm going to demonstrate the um, uh, Wi-Fi feature of this, the FPV feature. Uh, I'm going to be flying line of sight. I'm a novice when it comes to FPV flying, so I'm going to try to keep an eye on the aircraft. But I'll try every once in a while to bring up the screen so you can see what the screen's seeing. And also, one thing with the software that go comes with this quadcopter, actually you download it from the Google Play Store or the Apple uh, Store. Um, the so software is called HT Wi-Fi. HT Wi-Fi. Look for it. You can try it out right now. It's free software. But I can record the video onto my phone. I also got a memory card in the uh, camera. I can record to the camera. Um, there's no difference in the, actually the video. It's 640 by 480 VGA graphics or VGA uh, resolution. So it's, it's not really impressive uh, video. But um, the thing is, I, I can actually uh, see, record what the quadcopter is seeing in real time. And later, I can actually play back on my phone what's on the memory card, which is the exact same thing. It's both of them are 640 by 480. I'm going to include that video, uh, what I'm seeing on the uh, phone in this uh, flight. Um, I'll put it down in one of the corners of the screen so you can see it. Um, it's, it's not impressive video. This is, again, is a first look or a, a beginner's entry into FPV. And I think it is a good beginner's entry because this is a cool quadcopter, well, very good performing quadcopter. Let's go for a flight and demonstrate it. Okay, I've got the quadcopter bound to the transmitter already. Now I'm turning on my screen of my cell phone. And I already had the app open. Um, this is what the quadcopter, or actually, yeah, this is what the quadcopter's seeing. Let me demonstrate. I don't know if you can see that or not, folks. See a little better when I go in that direction there. So I'm going to try to keep my flight going off in that direction. Sun can be an issue, as you can see here. So I built my own sunshade out of some cardboard. Built it in five minutes. It's very, very uh, <laughs> jewelry rigged. But you can probably do a better job than I've done here. Um, let's go for a flight and demonstrate the FPV capability of this quadcopter. And away we go. First thing I want to do is trim it.
this is what the quadcopter's seeing. It's actually pretty cool. I can actually see this. <laughs> and I'm going to do a rotation. Okay, there's a wind up right about that altitude. So let's bring it down close. Reducing throttle. Boy, this thing like glides. <laughs> Doesn't require much throttle at all to stay in the air. I'm having to cut throttle to drop it. Okay. This is what the quadcopter's seeing. And there you get breakouts. And, and I haven't even started recording yet. <laughs> okay, to record. Let's put this on the ground. In front of me there. Okay, to record. You can record onto your screen. I'm going to press the uh, recording option for recording to the uh, uh, cell phone itself. There's another recording option where you can record to the camera card, but I wanted to demonstrate what this, uh, what you're seeing actually on the screen here. And that's, it's low resolution video. Um, again, the video of the, uh, that's recorded to the card is the same. It's low resolution, so don't expect anything uh, improved by recording to the card, other than less choppiness in the video. But this is what the quadcopter's seeing. I can see myself, and actually I'm flying FPV right now. Trying to maintain myself in the video. Again, I'm a novice at FPV, so this is this is new to me. <laughs> well, where'd I go? Okay, there I am. Again, this is the F802D model with the Wi-Fi transmitter, and it actually does work. It works better than. Uh, HM 1315. <laughs> I like this better than the HM 1315. The reason this is actually a decent flyer. Okay, that's the and that's the FPV portion. We're going to go into flying this quadcopter now. Again, I'm in beginner's mode right now. Let's set it up to high expert mode, and I want to demonstrate the range of this quadcopter. Let's go down by the pylon. That pylon's a good 130 meters away. If I can make it down there, I know. They're not lying about the range. I think I'm there. Turning. <laughs> I'm by the pylon. And I'm still getting reception, which is surprising. Okay, I lost some reception there. No, I see it now. I, it was the sun. Let's go to the other end of the field. Turning. Coming back. Very good reception. And climbing. Okay, now let's bring it down and show you its maneuverability. Again, it's a Latrax alias clone, so it is very maneuverable. Yeah, doing funnels with it. But flips. Oops. Well, with the weight of that camera on it, flipping is uh, probably something you want to minimize. Yeah, minimize flipping because it goes into vortex ring state. If you want to do flipping, take that camera off. In fact, let's take that camera off and demonstrate the other features of this quadcopter because it is a Latrax alias clone. I demonstrated the FPV. 
Let's land just for a second. The camera comes off easily. The camera comes off very easily. And hold on, folks. We're going to take the camera off now. You've seen the, the FPV portion of it. I want to show what else it can do. Okay, this is a Latrax alias clone, so you should expect some maneuverability with this quadcopter. Uh, again, the camera unplugs very easily. I got the camera in my pocket right now, but I want to show you the dem demonstrate the maneuverability and the headless mode feature and do some flipping without the camera on it. Okay, this is beginner mode. Go to expert. And it is a maneuverable quadcopter. Just demonstrating it real quickly before I go into headless mode demonstration. Okay, let's do those flips again. See, without the camera, it could flip <laughs> better. <laughs> camera could be an issue with flips. Bring it in closer for those flips. Left. Right. That's not close. <laughs> Left. Right. And. Okay, headless mode. Real quick. Let's bring it in. I'm going to point it at that pylon over there. Or that mountain off in the distance there. That'll be our base heading. So activating headless mode. Now. And when I push forward, I can fly toward that mountain. And I'm putting full yaw on it at the same time to show you that yaw has no effect on the direction I'm... It's just pitch and roll only. Notice how it's pirouetting. If I want to go to the right of that mountain, I push to the right. If I want to go to the left of that mountain, I push to the left. When I come back to me... Pull back. That's headless mode feature. Pretty cool. Again, if you want to do panning of a ground subject while you're doing video, you can fly by and just pan. Let's see if I can demonstrate that. Bring it in closer first. See, I'm panning, 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 keeping, keeping the camera pointed at me as I fly by. You can do that in the headless mode. Okay, coming out of headless mode. You press that button and hold it down to come out of headless mode. Again, this is the flip. Ooh, I was flipping in what? Headless mode? <laughs> okay, I'm out of headless mode now. Now the final feature of this thing. Uh, it has a one key return. All that does is, if you press it, it flies backwards. You hold the button down, and it automatically flies backwards. In effect, it does the same thing as if you would pull back on the stick. It is not a return to home feature. Uh, let's bring that down and show that up close. It is not a return to home feature. I want to say that again. All it does, okay, it's, I got the quadcopter pointed to my left right now. Let me trim it a bit. And when I press that button, right, it's doing a flip first. Let's get out of the flip. Let's bring it in again close. When I push that button and hold it down, it just flies backwards. All the uh, Hauntai toys, HT toys, okay, there goes my battery. All the HT toys have that feature for some reason. Uh, well, the F803 has it, I know that. It is not a return to home. I confused it with a return to home one time, and it is not. All it does is the exact same thing, let me repeat it, as if you would pull, push, pull back on the uh, pitch stick, and then it just pitches backward from whatever direction it's pointed in. But anyways, that's my first review of the F802D 
Wi-Fi FPV quadcopter. Again, it had, let's go over the features. Um, Wi-Fi FPV, which can record to your uh, camera or your uh, cell phone. Um, it has a 150 meter range, which is very good for a quadcopter, a toy quadcopter. 120 meter range on the uh, um, cell phone, on the Wi-Fi reception. Um, it does flips. It has uh, headless mode. Um, again, that headless mode is just the, your basic headless mode where you, when you activate it, whatever direction the quadcopter is pointed at at the moment will be the base heading for the quadcopter. Um, it cannot be used for return to home feature like a uh, magnetic compass headless mode can. So that's the F802D. Um, a very good introduction to Wi-Fi FPV, I think. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, review. Quadcopter 101 signing out.